You got the bong. Yeah. Anchor, strap, thing, winder. That's all good. Is there fuel in here? Probably not. <laughs> so it's two strobe, I've got a bit. It's the same uh, stuff as the chainsaw. Okay. If there is fuel in here though, that's from last summer. It might not be very good. Right. Well, we've got Rollocks and doors, just in case. Well, we'll need them to get out. Yeah. Yeah, you're on camera. You're on camera. That's it. Have a niff. Get your paw. Let's have a paw. There's no stop on the thing, there's no brake or anything, is there? No, we can do this. Excellent. Go in. Yeah. Myself. That's a very ominous sound. <laughs> yeah, I've got the blue one. Let it go out far enough that I can yeah. tuck back in. Now a good time to say that my middle name is Albatross. <laughs> no, you don't, okay. <laughs> there's, <laughs> there's a there's a song. <laughs> <laughs> There's a song by Iron Maiden called The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. It's the rhyme of the ancient mariner. Did it, did it, did it, did it, and it's this really long song, and it's all about this guy that goes to sea, the sailors that go to sea, and um, they're hit with bad luck after bad luck after bad luck, and um, it's all about um, an albatross is like a sign of, of, of bad luck, and so. I think there's something about having an albatross round your neck and everything, but it's like it's a it's like a poem basically, and he's the I made and basically changed it into a song called the Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner. We did it at school and everything. It was really cool. In mist or cloud, on mast or shroud, it perched for vespers nine, whilst all the night through fog smoke white. Glimmered the white moonshine. God save the ancient mariner from the fiends that plague thee thus. Why lookst thou so? With my crossbow, I shot the albatross. Yeah. <laughs> it seems like we've um, we've snagged a problem. Don't stand in the boat. That's what I was told. Never stand in the boat. Oh. <laughs> and Missy's standing in the boat. <laughs> Flipping heck. <laughs> yeah, well, we'd all have a good look in a minute as we all plunge into the cold depths of the Swedish lake. Water, 
Water everywhere, and all the boards did shrink. Water, water everywhere, nor any drop to drink. The very deep did rot, oh Christ, that ever this should be. Yea, slimy things did crawl with legs upon the slimy sea. And some in dreams assured were of the spirit that plagued us so. Nine fathom deep he had followed us from the land of mist and snow. And every tongue through utter drought was withered at the root. We could not speak no more than if we had been choked with soot. Ah, well day, what evil looks had I from old and young. Instead of the cross, the albatross about my neck was found. Now there's something wrong with this picture. I don't know if you guys can see. One orange jacket, two orange jackets. No orange jackets. That's a lie. You got an orange jacket? I've got an <laughs> orange hoodie. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like we've been brought out into the middle of the lake. <laughs> Man of the board. <laughs> You'll be merciful. <laughs> You're the weakest link, you are. Yeah. <laughs> you should get rid of your first. I have a call for a catfish. <laughs> <laughs> Fifty living men, and I heard nor sigh nor groan. With heavy thump, a lifeless lump, they dropped down one by one. The souls did from their bodies fly. They fled to bliss or woe, and every soul it passed me by, like the whiz of my crossbow. Green, green waves in the sky, but like dark, menacing, frothy waves that can like take your life. Oh. I look to heaven and try to pray, but or ever a prayer had gushed, a wicked whisper came and made my heart as dry as dust. My lips and kept them close, and the balls like pulses beat. For the sky and the sea, and the sea and the sky lay like a load on my weary eye, and the dead were at my feet. Oh, happy living things! No tongue their beauty might declare. A spring of love gushed from my heart, and I blessed them. You're my kind sir to pity on me, and I bless thee, unaware. The self same moment I could pray, and from my neck so free, the albatross fell off and sank like lead into the sea. Forthwith this frame of mine was wrenched with a woeful agony, which forced me to begin my tale and then it left me free. Since then at an uncertain hour that agony returns until my ghastly tale is told. This heart within me burns. I pass like night from land to land. I have strange power of speech. That moment that his face I see, I know the man that must hear me. To him my tale I teach. 